Hi guys, I wanted to make a little video to help you review for the uh, JavaScript test. The JavaScript test is going to have about four or five questions. And uh, for instance, here's a, here's a sample one that you might get. Uh, I want you to have something pop up like you see here. It's a prompt, and the st student's going to type in a number, and then it's going to ask for another number. And what it's going to do is work out the product of it. Okay, so just to review how to do that type of question. Basically what you're doing here is you're asking the student two questions. So the way you do that is you use the prompt command. Then what you do with those two things is you add them together, multiply them together, whatever the question is going to ask. Now there's several ways to do this. One way we did in class was to use that eval command. There was another one I think we used called parse int. Let's see if that works. Parse int. And actually that's probably the better way. We'll just see if it works first of all. Okay, so it also works. So either way is acceptable. This is the newer way to do it in uh, JavaScript. Okay, another question you're going to get is a pretty basic one. I think we remember, remember you doing this one really early. When you go over a color, it turns the screen that color, and when you go away, it goes back. Over, away. Okay, so this uses that on mouse over stuff. And basically, this isn't going to go anywhere. So you make a generic link to nowhere, so to speak. So the way, remember how to do that? You go to standard, you press the chain link. And when it pops up, press the number sign, and you've got your generic link. Then what you'll do in between there is you'll, you'll stick a color, whatever you want to use. Okay, now this one, I don't have it doing anything yet. I've only got the code on the green. But that's the way you would do it. And then in here is where you would type uh, this kind of stuff on mouse over, change the background to green. When it goes away, change it to white. Okay, so it'll be that kind of question. The next kind will make you uh, remember how to do functions. So the question itself is pretty standard. You'll have maybe a text box, which is part of a form, and a button and you'll type in a number into the form and then you'll do a little bit of math and print it out. So what's so different about this one and one of the first ones we just did? Well, this one you have to remember, you have to make a form because you're going to have a button and a text box. And if you forget how to make a form, you go up here where it says forms and the first thing you do is you always do that. Okay, and that'll make this outer thing. Okay, then what you do is you basically press one of these things here. You might have a checkbox, a radio button, one of the things we did. Okay. Now, this first one, if you remember, it's got a text box and a button. So that's how you put a text box in there. And you got to give it a name, because remember that stuff we did before where you have to uh, name your stuff? Now, this first one here uses a command we didn't learn. So you won't you don't have to worry about that on the, on, the, on the test. Okay, so there won't be that part in there. So it won't have that on focus. So there'll be just a text box there. So I haven't really changed the question. It's still exactly the same. All right. What you will do though with the second one is there'll be a button. Okay. And uh, it's a standard button. And then what you're going to do is when you click it, you're going to send whatever's in this text box to a function which will add 10 to the age and print it out. Now, how do you send it to a function? Remember how we name these? That's the name of the first part, my form. Then the text box has the name my text. So it's document, my form, my text dot value. That gets sent up to here. So whatever the guy typed in, it goes into that variable age. We add 10 to age and we print it out. The last question you're going to get, we practiced one day for homework. This one's a bit more complicated, but basically the same idea. This one has three sections. Kind of cool, eh? So obviously you're going to have to draw four pictures. You're going to draw this big red one that looks like that. And you're going to have to draw it like that, like that, and like that. This one I would do in Dreamweaver because this involves image maps. And after you do the nitty gritty in Dreamweaver, what's going to 
happen is you're going to get this part in here that Dreamweaver does for you, except it doesn't have the on mouse over yet. And what you'll have to do is you'll have to go inside of Dreamweaver, don't touch any of the stuff that it wrote, okay? And you'll have to make the following changes. Now, as you know, when you start it up, that's the picture, that red one, right? That red one has a name, okay? So this thing right here has a name. It's called Roll. Okay, so you have to actually do that by yourself. You have to go in there and by hand and do that. Then what you do is basically the following. On mouse over, okay, you're going to show that image. When it's off, you show that image. Now, this is according to how you sectioned off your image map. I don't actually want it to go anywhere. So when you see that, it doesn't have to actually go anywhere. But that's the basic idea. Okay, so good luck. Make sure you've got all your notes in front of you, and you should do great.